Howdy folks, so if you see out the gray window here, yeah, we've got thunderstorms, rain, possible hail, and high winds coming in, which means we might lose power. So yeah, it's one of those kind of days, but the product we're talking about today is just that. It's a solar generator or, you know, standby power. And we've got a new one here. I got to thank Gabriel for sending this over to us. This is the Ampace, and it's got a sale deal with a coupon and everything going on. So yeah, this is going to be cool. Let's get the box open and check this one out. Yeah. So let's get this box open. This is the Ampace six, uh, 600 Pro. So it's a 600 watt model, but has an interesting feature there. It has a surge of up to 1800 watts, which is uh, kind of peculiar in this industry. Usually that's, you know, 1200. So, the 1800 watts kind of tells me that, yeah, it can take a little bit of a bang to start something up, especially if it's got like a motor or something like that involved. But a 600 watts, you know, whether you're camping, RVing, or you're in a remote location, or power in the house goes off. If the power in the house goes off, okay, you know what? You can have your TV, you can have your internet back up and running, some lights on, charge your laptop, or run, you know, charge your cell phone, whatever you need to do. Those are things that are nice to have in an emergency situation when the power goes off, which you know, that's uh, been happening a lot around here lately. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you're in an apartment or a condo, again, this is something you can store. Or uh, the other uh, <clears throat> interesting application I have discovered is you can also have these behind a 3D printer. So if the power goes off, the 3D printer doesn't stop and make a bit of a, a mess trying to uh, recover. So. These things are just, just handy to have around, and if you don't have one, you might want to think about one, because God knows we seem to be getting into more and more power problems all the time. Oh, this thing's a little bit on the heavy side. Fairly compact, so it's not too bad, and it's got a really nice, big, hard handle. So I like that already, and look at the size of this thing. This is actually a cute little device here. There we go. There, there's the front. <laughs> Yeah, so much for planning that, huh? Yeah, and because it's uh, 600 watts, okay, you're not gonna be able to run your refrigerator, or can you? Well, because that 1800 watt surge, it's quite possible you could run a fridge with this little guy. Now, the fridge isn't gonna last very long, of course, because you've only got about, I think it's around 575 watt hours, something like that, so you're looking at an hour, but if you need to just chill the fridge down for, you know, 20 minutes, a half an hour or something, I guess you could get away with it, even with something like this. The real deal is just like I said, the internet, you know, all the basic stuff that you want around the house, uh, lighting and so, you know, in a storm, it's nice to be able to get jump back on the internet, have a TV running and some lights and whatever. So it's, it's always a great thing to have. And it really feels good when you know you've got some kind of backup and yeah, this is this is it. Now uh, we're gonna we'll power it up, but uh, we're gonna charge this now. Charging wise, uh, we're gonna charge it from solar. Yeah, I just looked outside. Um, we're gonna try to charge it from solar. <laughs> There's no sunshine out there. It's gray. Yeah, the uh, weather outside is not uh, not very good, but it's it's the kind of weather that it's nice to have something like this. It gives you a little bit of that. It gives you a little bit more of that relaxed feeling that you know you have some kind of power backup, so you're not completely poof, off the grid, dead silence. There's no power, and you know now what do I do? Kind of thing. So it's nice to have something. And uh, apartments and condos, that's, that's, a, that's one of the ones that I really like to push a lot of times because I know that you guys get stuck with that sort of thing and it's like you have nothing. Now, it's a nice little unit. Uh, Weight-wise, it's not bad. It's a little bit heavy, kind of like maybe a car battery kind of weight thing. So it's, it's around, it feels like it's about 20 pounds, so it's not too bad. At the back here, we have the charging ports for the solar. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah. And we'll get this flap open here for a second. Now, it looks like it's, uh, yeah, be an XT60. And most of your uh, portable solar power kits, a lot of them will come with an XT60. So you can just plug right in and start charging. Now, you can plug in and charge off the household uh, electricity if you need to. In which case, I usually would do that, say, in a situation like if I'm running a 3D printer and I don't want to lose power just in case of a storm while I'm producing some parts. Uh, I could plug that into the house and have this running the 3D printer and that way if the power goes off this thing will pick it up and just keep right on going and the 3D printer won't stall out on me kind of thing. So 
Yeah, some pretty interesting applications. And if you have anything like that, you know. And so uh, we're gonna we're gonna take it outside. And we're gonna hook it up to 200 because I'm sure it's not fully charged. I really don't know. I haven't I haven't powered it up yet. So so we're looking for the power button, which is right in the center at the front here. And as soon as we power it up, we're set 65 percent. Ooh, there's a cool little light that just came up on top. <laughs> That's a nice unit. Ampace is kind of like a brand name too. So you know, it's it's a pretty good product because it is Ampace. Uh, they've been around for years, yeah. And then we also have a button here that will turn the AC on and turn the AC off. And the button lights up again to indicate that it is on. Or in this case, we'll shut it back off. Yep, there we go. And so we've got USB, a USB-C type porting again to charge the cell phone, the iPad. Uh, keep mentioning that these days for some reason. We've got two nice outputs here again. Uh, if you take one of these and just put it on a power bar, you could have more outputs because I have done that where you've needed three or four plugs or something. You just stick an old power bar on there and, you know, supply more power. At uh, 600 watts, yes, granted, no, you can't run the whole house, but you can run the basic things that are nice to have in a power outage. Or if you're camping, it's just, just pure nice to have some AC around for whatever, you know, camping you need. And this is where I really like these things is they just, the 600 watts is like, it, it's usable. It's totally usable. I ran my computer during a storm uh, where we our power went off and I had my internet, I had my TV, lights on and stuff. And it's like, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Oh, this thing is changing color on the top too. So apparently we have some RGB effect or something going on. Oh, it's going to purple now. <laughs> wow. All right. Whoa. <laughs> sort of looks like one of those, uh, oh, look at red, orangey, red, white. It's, it's, uh, it's green. It's changing color. Well, I've got it on. So that's pretty neat. So I'm going to shut it off and we're going to, uh, I'm going to run outside before it rains or before the hail comes down with a portable and we'll set it all up with a portable power pack. Uh, now, Limit, okay, up to 200 watts can come in from a uh, solar panel or system. Uh, wattage wise, the 200 watts kind of limits you, but at the same time, the other thing you gotta consider is what voltage. Because uh, I have caused damage <clears throat> on some of these things. Now this one here uh, shows 11 to 30 volt. So that's one of the things you gotta be mindful of is uh, solar panels can come in some various voltages. And in fact, I've got one here that's 36 volt. That's technically too high to be charging this. So when I get my 200 watt solar package out, I will take a look and make sure it's between that 12 and 30 volt range that I can plug this in safely and not damage this. That's, um, yeah, I've done that, yeah. <laughs> so real quick before I jump outside, I thought I shut this off. Apparently I did not. Hmm, I don't know. That's, uh, there we go, it's shut off. Uh, I picked something, I've got different solar panels, uh, portables, anywhere from, you know, 100 to 400 watt systems. This is a 200 water. Well, this one here is by Vivor, and I just checked it, and it's 18 to 22 volt. So it's like, it's perfectly within the range of 12 to 30 volts, so we won't burn or damage this thing charging it. Now, it is not sunny out, but it is, it's very gray, very overcast. Like I said, rain, thunderstorm, hail coming in. But we'll still get probably what we need off of this. We'll see what we can do. Viva's uh, panel was, uh, when we did a test on it, it was really, really good. I was surprised how efficient it was and being rated at 200 watts. So I'm gonna run this out and we'll hook it up. And then the other thing you gotta look for, and this Viva has like, most of them, they have a nice package here and a gore. there's your output right here and there is your XT60 right there that will be plugging into this in order to uh, power and charge this up fully. So. Cool, yeah. And before I forget, uh, this does come with a, a nice little manual that's easy to read, easy to understand. There's really very little information that you really need about this sort of thing. I mean, look at it, it's, it's pretty much straightforward. It does have a nice little light on the front here. It also RGB glows on the top here, so interesting. And so we'll get charging and we'll let's go to the driveway and let's see what we can do. I'll set it all up. While we're outside, uh, there is absolutely no sunshine, of course. It's all just gray cloud, but uh, there's my setup. I just laid this out in the driveway and uh, we plugged the v -bore system into the little... Okay, yeah, there we go. Looks like about 4.4 hours fully charged. It's dark and gray and overcast out here right now. It's just about ready to rain. So I don't expect much power is gonna come in even from the 200 watt panels, but I'm actually showing about 45 watts. 
So it'll take about, at this present time, yes, it would take a few hours to uh, obviously charge this up. But uh, we won't get into too much of that. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna end up back in the shop here shortly. Ah, okay, we're back inside. Uh, there's a couple things here uh, I need to mention. Uh, it comes with a 110 cable, of course. And let's see if we can get the other one out here. And it comes stuck in the bag, so you can't get it out. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Oh. It also comes with this. This is the XT60 uh, plug. Take a maybe close up on that a little bit. Just see if you can uh, get a good look at the XT60. You can sort of tell them apart. There's an XT90, which is a larger, heavier current one. Uh, the way Ampace sends this in is it has the cigarette lighter plug on this end. If you get a portable uh, solar panel set, then you're most likely going to have the XT60 as one of the variables to be able to plug in and put power in, such as what I did with the Viewer panel. Oh, as a matter of fact, uh, that Viewer panel is so good, I will provide a link in the description below. <laughs> yeah, somewhere down below. Uh, we'll have the link for the description, of course, this, and the coupon code or any discount codes we have. And then below that, I'll toss in the uh, Viewer uh, panel uh, link just so you can, you know, read and find it. Uh, also, uh, see if I can get the website on here too for uh, where they have all their fine products of Ampace. Because Ampace, like I say, is a pretty reputable company for electrical stuff. Now, the next thing I needed to mention, besides all the lights, is there's a flashlight thing up here. You probably saw that, but uh, we haven't had it on. It will do uh, a nice uh, ambient lamp here and or flash and or the SOS if you need, which seems like almost, almost everybody seems to have that one. Uh, right now she's at 100, yeah, 100%. And I guess I'll show you something, for example, and we'll go with something light first, and then I'll show you something heavy. Mm -hmm. Here's a uh, LED light, light strip, four foot bar, and I'm just gonna plug in. And we're gonna turn the AC on. Bink. Yeah, there we go, now. Uh, when I do all that, you can see that this will now run it for about a seven and a half, eight hours. No, nope. let me see. We'll just let it sit for a second here and we'll see if we can get the reading. Yeah, 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 19 hours. That's jumping. It's still calculating because of the load. So we'll have to wait for a second to see if it can uh, level out to where it's going to be for the load. And uh, we've gone from 12 to, yeah, we're all over the board here a little bit just yet. But. Uh, this is going to read out how many hours it's going to last on the present load, in which case, and it takes a bit to calculate. Now, it's calculating and calculating. I just finally figured out, okay, I've got nothing coming in. I'm strictly storage, and this is still in the load, and at, this, at the end of it all, we've got um, 11 hours. So, for 11 hours, we could run that light off of this, and then we'd have to recharge this. Uh, it's at 100%. And the load is, of course, 40 watt for that particular uh, four foot strip. And the cat is meowing and meowing and meowing. Okay, kitty cat. Now, uh, that's what's so cool. Also, uh, at the top here, you have input, which will tell you what, what's coming in from whether it be AC or solar or however you're charging it. And it also has the output, of course, which measures and tells you how much load you've got on there. So that's, uh, ooh, <clears throat> there, there's one example. And that's only 40, 45, 40 some odd watt, whatever. Yeah. Now we've got a power drill. <laughs> yeah. Now we have a, we have something serious, you know. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, there you go. So, get around a power drill. <laughs> Not sure why you'd want to do that, but uh, it could happen. You know, it's the, it's the whole thing about the load. In this case, the Ryobi Heavy 3 8 uh, power drill. Now, the next thing I wanted to mention, talk about over was um, this. You probably saw that, but there's uh, the USB-C is 100 watt, and there's also an 18 watt for USB-C. So, you have both types. Also, the USB-A, which both of them, of course, are 18 watt because that was the nature of the beast back when USB-A uh, first, uh, first arrived on the market. And then we have the two barrel plugs, DC barrel plugs, and my cat's meowing again. <laughs> and of course the uh, cigarette lighter plug here. And this is again turned on and off by this little button. So you have a separate control button right here for that. And 
let's see if we can do the light thing. There we go. And the light thing works really well on this. In fact, this is probably the best one for the light bar I've ever seen because that's kind of a cool light. And then you can uh, change the mode. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, there we go. That's the strobe effect. And then there's the, uh, let's see if we can get the, yep, there it goes. And the SOS thing, of course. And then we can shut it off. And it works really well. Uh, some of them you play with the button, you can't seem to get the light to turn on or turn off or something. Uh, this one here works really well, which is surprising. Now, okay, and I'm going to shut the uh, AC off. One of the other secrets too is don't leave the AC on if you're not going to use it because it, the inverter part of this will actually use some of that energy. So you can just get that much more time out of it if you don't have to you know, leave it running with nothing plugged in, which it makes sense. So overall, for the price and the features, this is a good standby system for power. Oh, the other thing too, and I, I don't know why I didn't mention it, it's sort of, uh, you know, but a lot of times people will put their computer in between this and an outlet in the wall because if there is an electrical storm or surge or something like that, you're going to totally protect yourself because you're running off of this with pure sine wave at 600 watt, up to 600 watt. So that's really, you know, that's something to take into uh, account too. It's also another area where, you know, these are really handy. They're handy around the house, they're handy around camping, RVing, uh, if you're traveling, uh, even uh, aboard uh, some boats. A lot of people like to take one of these with them and that way they can run some certain different types of appliances and what have you, or just charge cell phones or run DC stuff off of this. Oh yeah, you know, there's just, just handy to have, you know. And this one's uh, lithium iron phosphate storage. And it is rated at about 575 watt hours. That is over, if you've got like a 600 watt load, you're probably gonna last about one hour if you just leave that just running steady. So yeah, you know, you can only expect so much power physically from what you've got here, but uh, it's a nice product. Okay, so when you're plugged into AC and you've run this thing down, uh, it will suck as much as 550 watts in, but it'll fully charge back in an hour and a half. So that's fast charging, so that's really cool. Now, on a sunny day, which it's not here today, uh, a 200 and, uh, watt panel will bring this back up in about four, four and a half hours, completely from you know bottom to top, it'll fully charge it again. Just things to think about or know when you're you know, looking at something like this. Now, the other thing that uh, I can't answer, but uh, I will probably, I will do it as much as anyone will do it. A lot of these, I will charge them with the solar panel and run the AC at the same time. Thereby, I don't actually discharge this thing. I actually end up using the solar power like it's going through at a you know, complete control and inverter system to supplying electricity for me. And I've done that a lot. Some units actually tell you not to do that. Uh, this particular unit, I went through their uh, manual here, and there's no, there's nothing. It doesn't say anything about, you know, that. So, I'm assuming that you can. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't say. And most likely, you probably can. So, it's uh, all together between the sale price. That's why we're showing it. It's on sale. Yes. And uh, if you think you need something like that, I invite you to take a look at that link below and take a look at that sale price and the discount and whatever, and just see what you think. It's, you know, these are, you know, they're just something really handy to have around the house, the car, the boat, the RV, whatever it is, and wherever you're going, and having the knowledge that you have some emergency power backup if, uh, <clears throat> if everything goes out like it does around here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. I'm out of here. Over and out.